Choosing the greatest movies of all time is not an easy task. Most often discussed are directing, acting, plot, and cinematography. Most great movies are sources of great inspiration, with genius scripturing and acting. While most of you will agree with my lists, some of you may not. Nevertheless, here are my top 10 greatest movies of all time. First in the lists at number 10 is The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. An Italian epic spaghetti western film directed by Sergio Leone and starring Clint Eastwood as The Good, Lee Van Cleef as The Bad, and Eli Wallach as The Ugly. The film is known for Leone's use of long shots and close-up cinematography, as well as his distinctive use of violence, tension, and highly stylized gunfights. The film was a financial success, grossing over $38 million at the worldwide box office, and is credited with having catapulted Eastwood into stardom. Next in the lists at number 9 is The Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring. This is a 2001 epic fantasy adventure film directed by Peter Jackson the first installment in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. It features an ensemble cast including Elijah Wood, Ian McKellen, Viggo Mortensen among other stars. The film was acclaimed by critics and fans alike, who considered it to be a landmark in filmmaking and an achievement in the fantasy film genre. It grossed over $880 million worldwide in its initial release making it the second highest grossing film of 2001. At number 8 in the lists is Pulp Fiction. Written and directed by Quentin Tarantino, the film is known for its graphic violence and punchy dialogue. It tells several stories of crime in Los Angeles, California, starring John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, and Bruce Willis, among other stars. Pulp Fiction won the Palme d'Or at the 1994 Cannes Film Festival, and was a major critical and commercial success. It is widely regarded as Tarantino's masterpiece with particular praise for its screenwriting. Number 7 in the lists is The Lord of the Rings The Return of the King. This is another epic fantasy adventure film directed by Peter Jackson, the third installment of The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Like the other films in the trilogy, the Return of the King is widely recognized as one of the greatest and most influential films ever made. It grossed over $1.1 billion worldwide, making it the highest grossing film of 2003. Number 6 in the lists is Schindler's List. Directed and produced by Steven Spielberg and written by Steven Zaillian, the film follows Oscar Schindler a German industrialist who saved more than a thousand mostly polished Jewish refugees by employing them in his factories during World War II. It stars Liam Neeson, Ralph Fiennes, and Ben Kingsley, often listed among the greatest films ever made. The film received universal acclaim for its tone, acting, particularly by Neeson, Fiennes, and Kingsley. It was also a box office success, earning $322 million worldwide on a $22 million budget. Halfway down the lists at number 5 is Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. If you're looking for an action-adventure film that has relatable character, then look no further. Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade is a timeless adventure that is just as entertaining now as it was when it was first released. After his father goes missing while pursuing the Holy Grail, Indiana Jones finds himself up against the Nazis to stop them from obtaining its powers. It has it all amazing performances, sweeping action, wit, humor, betrayal, and triumph. Though it wasn't the highest grossing movie in the Indiana Jones series, this one is my personal favorite. Number 4 in the lists is The Dark Knight. A 2008 superhero film directed by Christopher Nolan. This is based on the DC Comics superhero, Batman. It is the second installment in the Dark Knight trilogy. The plot follows the vigilante Batman, police lieutenant James Gordon, and district attorney Harvey Dent who form an alliance to dismantle organized crime in Gotham City. The Dark Knight received acclaim for its mature tone and themes, visual style, and performances particularly that of Ledger. You have nothing! Nothing to threaten me with! 
nothing to do with all your strength. It broke several box office records and became the highest grossing 2008 film and the highest grossing superhero film during that time. Number three in the lists is The Godfather. Directed by Francis Ford Coppola, it focuses on the transformation of his youngest son, Michael Corleone, played by Pacino, from reluctant family outsider to ruthless mafia boss. The film stars Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, James Caan, and many other stars. It is the first installment in the Godfather trilogy, chronicling the Corleone family under patriarch Vito Corleone, played by Brando from 1945 to 1955. It was the highest grossing film of 1972, and at that time the highest grossing film ever made. Number two in the lists is Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, an American drama film played by Tom Hanks, is a heartwarming tearjerker about a guy whose big heart more than makes up for his low IQ, is hands down one of the best movies ever. The biggest takeaway from the movie is to never lose hope in life. Forrest Gump is a character who was rejected by the society in his childhood itself. It's a story of how success has a way of finding the good and bypassing the evil. It is also one of the best quoted movies of all time. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. These are the reasons why Forrest Gump is one of the most popular and most iconic movies of all time. And topping the list at number one is The Shawshank Redemption, American drama film written and directed by Frank Darabont. It tells the story of banker Andy Dufresne, played by Tim Robbins. Dufresne is sentenced to life imprisonment in Shawshank State Penitentiary for the murders of his wife and her lover, despite his claims of innocence. Over the following two decades, he befriends a fellow prisoner, contraband smuggler Ellis Red, played by Morgan Freeman. While the Shawshank Redemption received critical acclaim on its release, for its amazing story and the performances of Robbins and Freeman, it was a box office disappointment, earning only $16 million during its initial theatrical run. But it went on to receive multiple award nominations, including seven Academy Awards, Decades after its release, the film was still broadcast regularly and continues to be popular in several countries, with audience members and celebrities citing it as a source of inspiration. This movie certainly is one of the most beloved movies of all time. There you have it guys, what do you think of my lists? Please leave a comment below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe in my channel for more videos.